Hi, my name is Christine and I'm a software engineer at the browser company and today I'm going to be doing a demo of profiles. This has been our number one most requested feature in ARC for a long time and it's also been my number one most requested feature in ARC since I joined the browser company so we are so excited to finally be launching this and profiles will allow you to separate logins, favorites, cookies, search histories, settings, extensions, and previews. Uh, across spaces. So it's sort of like you have different browsers all rolled into one and it can be used to separate your work life, your personal life, and maybe even your school life from one another. So you have kind of that uh, real sense of context in your spaces. And before I show what they look like in Arc, I actually want to take a little walk down memory lane to look at profiles in Chrome. I was an avid Chrome profiles user prior to switching over to Arc. And if I'm being completely honest, it was kind of a hard switch for me because we didn't have profiles. And I was like, I don't want to have to combine my work and personal email up in the little, you know, Gmail account switcher it really got on my nerves. And so I really missed profiles and I had used them for like 10 plus years. Right. So it was, you know, not an easy transition, but I'm so glad now that they're in ARC. So. A, a typical actual workflow for me would be, you know, I'd be doing some work and then I would switch over to another window because windows in Chrome are per, or sorry, profiles in Chrome are per window. And then, you know, maybe I'd do some reading, pull up social media, whatever. And then I'd go back and do some more work. And then, you know, maybe in the middle of the day, I'd get a text from somebody or another app would have a link that I wanted to open. So I click and open it and it would open in the most recent window. And I'd say, oh, uh, this tweet that my friend sent me just out of the book is pretty funny. And I, you know, maybe you want to like it, but oh, I can't like it because I'm not signed into my Twitter account in my work profile because, you know, I don't look at Twitter while I'm working. So the frustrating thing is that there's no way to, to pull this tab over and to reload it easily at all in my personal profile. So I need to go here, need to copy this, and then I need to paste it here, you know, paste and go. And now I can finally like the tweet because I'm signed into Twitter. Uh, but that was kind of a lot of work. That was a little frustrating. And I love this example because I think this is something that we've actually done really well in our implementation in ARC. And I am just so excited to show you all. So before I do that, actually, I just want to do a quick overview of the spaces that I have in ARC so we can see kind of how profiles roll into that. So I have a browser company space, which is just kind of my canonical workspace. I have a personal space, which is my canonical personal space. I have my crafting space, which is my canonical crafting space. Doesn't everybody have one of these? And I mostly use this as just a kind of catch all for crafting stuff that I find that I you know dream of doing someday. I love to knit and crochet. Uh, and then lastly, I have a profiles project space, which is where I keep all of the kind of profiles related information that I might need. And the first thing that you should know about profiles is that you can assign them to any number of spaces. So we're not saying every space has to have its own profile. We're not saying you have to re-log into Twitter, you know, five different times if you have five different spaces. It's flexible. You can make it completely your own. Um, so my browser company space is using the default profile, as is my profile space. So that means that the settings and configurations and everything that's backing these up uh, are the same. And so you'll see that like top apps uh, don't change. They just kind of animate through as I'm swiping across like two other spaces. Um, and you'll also notice that if I open some, uh, if I open a tab, that it will also stay the same when I swipe between the two because I'm able to look at it through the same profile. Uh, meanwhile, over my personal space, I am using a personal profile. And my personal profile contains my social media logins, my personal email, all that sort of stuff. And uh, that's why you see the top apps or the favorites switching out when I swipe between the two. So that's just one thing to note is that favorites are going to be different um, as are things like extensions, um, your search history, all of that stuff, but we'll go into that. Uh, so given that we have this default profile, I think it's worth noting that profiles are actually not something that is entirely new in ARC. Everybody currently has one profile and that is their default profile. So we're all using our own default profile and this feature is introducing the ability to create uh, new and custom profiles and assign them to any number of spaces. So in this case, I have a personal profile and then I also have a crafting profile that are assigned to um, their respective spaces and I could create additional spaces and assign them to them if I wanted to. So um, 
I don't know. I think that's really nice. Uh, I also just wanted to give a little metaphor to maybe hit home, like what a profile is and why it makes any sense at all. And that is to, to share something that uh, my teammate Christoph used, which is that a profile is like a lens. It's how you see the internet and it's also how the internet sees you. So, you know, maybe you have some cool frames and like, you know, nice lenses inside them. Maybe a pair of glasses is like a more comprehensive metaphor, but essentially the profile dictates like what you see and how you see it because, you know, maybe I'm logged into Twitter in one profile and not logged into Twitter in another. Maybe in one profile, mail.google.com pulls up my work email and maybe in another profile it pulls up my per personal email. But it also dictates how the internet sees you in that for cookies or different site behaviors, you know, they're like your experience might be based on kind of how the site interprets the data that, you know, you're kind of projecting out into it. So um, it's just something kind of fun to keep in mind that might be helpful. Uh, I will go here and make ARC my default profile, or sorry, my default browser again. Uh, it's a good feeling. And then I will open this tweet again, and you'll notice that it opens in a little ARC. And just as another example of that lens metaphor, if I click here and I switch to viewing it through my personal profile, uh, I'll get this little dialogue. You'll see this in other places as well, and you can suppress these if you like get the message. Basically, if I were filling out a form right now and I tried to switch the profile, there's a good chance that I would lose whatever I was filling out. So if you're not on a site that's auto-saving, that's just something to keep in mind. So if I switch it up, I see it in a completely different way because I have a boost, which is essentially an extension in my personal profile that changes the way that I see Twitter. And I also uh, am now logged in. So the login is carrying over as well. And if I try to open this in my personal space, it'll go right there. If I try to drag this over to my workspace, I'll get this prompt again and I can move it. And then you'll see that I'm logged out again. So I can drag this back over to my personal space. I'll move it. And now that I'm here, I can like the tweet again. It's a nice feeling. Uh, so I'll also call out again that extensions are different per profile. So maybe you have some work specific extensions that are relevant to you and you now don't have to have those kind of intermingling with the stuff that you use for personal things. Um, and then, you know, if I swipe over here, you can see my work extension. So that's just something worth calling out. Now that we're back in my crafting profile, I wanted to seed, seed some inspiration perhaps. So if I go here and maybe I want to search for a crocheted, uh, sorry, a crochet, let's see, glove pattern. I've never made crochet gloves before. So those are not showing up, <laughs> but there are a lot of other things, probably reasonable. I don't think crocheted gloves would be very cute. Um, but you'll see that these search results are coming up on the Spruce Crafts, which is kind of a weird, random place. If I search for the same thing on my in my personal space, which is using my personal profile, I will, let's see what happens. So I get results, but it's on Google. So that's kind of funny, right? Like, uh, you know, typing the same thing into the command bar and getting two different things. Why is that happening? So if I go up here to preferences and look at the per profile preferences, you can see that there's a search engine option and you can manage this and then create a custom site search and then promote that to be a search engine. And that's how you'll get um, a custom search engine. I could see this being useful if you wanted to have, you know, some quick access kind of code search type space, something like that. But I'm um, really excited to see how people let their creativity kind of blossom. Um, and you can also customize the downloads location. So uh, my crafting profile downloads to a folder called knitting patterns. And I don't actually really use that, but it's kind of like fun and nice in theory in my mind. Uh, you can also customize all these other things, which is also really nice. And that's about it for kind of how I use profiles. Um, I'll now show how you can create a new profile if you're trying to get started for the first time. So I'll create a new space, I'll call it demo. And this actually will not show up when you update for the first time. So you'll need to use the right click menu or the command bar. And basically this will allow you to create a new profile. So I'll call it um, test profile. I'm gonna send that to my demo space and I'll create the profile. And you can see that the top apps that were up here that were coming from my work profile or my default profile are now switched out for an empty state. And I can, you know, uh, I don't know, do whatever I want. This is, uh, you know, a really fresh space and the search history is completely empty. So, you know, 
new new space, new profile, new me, whatever. Uh, <laughs> so another thing that I wanted to show that I think will be exciting to people who have been anxious for this uh, in order to move stuff over from Chrome, um, you can also import from your old browser and you can import from a specific profile to a new profile if you would like. So maybe I wanna import my personal profile from Chrome and I had some nice reading materials there that I would like to have brought over here and some stuff that I was logged into. Um, so I'm gonna import it to a new profile and I'll call that Christine's Chrome profile. And this is going to create a new space for me and I wanna import all my bookmarks. And we don't create a new space for you when you create new profiles in other contexts, but we do it here so we can import your bookmarks somewhere. But I can reassign this profile to anything else if I want to as well. And, you know, I can do something similar where I put my top app up there and then there you have it. I can swipe through all of it. I just wanted to say thanks to the profiles crew. We had a lot of fun working on this. It was a really big project. And we also got a ton of help from the rest of the team, a lot of feedback, a lot of, you know, other support in different ways. And then also members who have shared tons and tons of feedback on Twitter. And then also a few who gave us really early input um, through surveys. So with that, um, please let us know what you end up doing with profiles. Please give us feedback and also please uh, realistically report bugs um, because I'm sure you will find some. So um, thank you so much for your time.